also how to make your armor felony go faster, much, much faster. Well, you could convert it to 8S. You're thinking that's probably going to be quite hard, Richie. So did I, thinking I might have to fit a Castle Mamba XLX in this to get it up to 8S. Then purely by accident, due to my helpful friends at Horizon Hobby, I discovered pretty much an idiot proof way to upgrade this thing to run on 8S. As you'll see in the video, it also gives us the hint that we might see an 8S version of the infraction or the felony coming out in the very near future for a reason that's going to become very obvious when I show you the speed upgrade to this car. But a little bit about how we got here. I was going to do a full on speed run with this car without with Fog City RC and we took this car up to about 75% of its speed and then a thermal cutout cut in. Couldn't do the speed run. Had to limp it back to us and the DSC basically shut itself down. Fully charged batteries, first time out. We tried it again, same problem. About a week or so later, I upgraded the servo on the car, took it out for a little drifting session around the yard, and within three minutes, the ESC over temp kicked in and the thing had overheated again. Anyway, when the car had overheated after three minutes, somebody suggested it might be the servo that was causing the issue. Absolute nonsense to my mind. The BEC on these things gives out something like a current of up to six amps on there. The servo is not drawing anywhere near that. The servo is not causing the ESC to overheat. There was clearly an issue with it. Got through to Horizon on the chat. My opinion of Horizon Hobby customer service is absolutely skyrocketing. Reason for that become apparent in just a second. They fully agreed there was an issue with the ESC. But at this point, major problem. They're out of stock of the 150 amp ESCs. And I know quite a few of you have actually also said you're waiting on a new 150 amp ESC for your felony or your infraction, which indicates it's a bigger problem. It was an original, it was a problem with the original infraction, and I'm very, very surprised to see it happen with the new cars with a supposedly new ESC fitted to them. That was the bad news. The good news was they offered me a 160 amp ESC instead. Would I be happy to take that? Yes! So, Getting it out the box, I'm looking at the back of it without my reading glasses on and I'm looking and reading 3S to 6S LiPo. Hang on, I'm thinking that doesn't look like a 6. Put reading glasses on. 3S to 8S, capable. 8S ESC, absolutely outstanding. I'm jumping around like a little kid in a sweet shop at this point. But at this point, you're thinking, yeah, Richie, but it's probably a different size ESC. Maybe not the screen screw holes. Is it just going to drop straight in? or not. Well in this video you're going to see me upgrade this DSC in this car and fit this new one and when you see how easy it is you will be like me and thinking Arma are going to be bringing out an 8S felony or an 8S infraction for one very very good reason as you will see when I put the new ESC in. So anyway we're going to go through this step by step. I know a lot of you already know how to install a new ESC but if you're completely new to RC cars, felony is your first one and the ESC has overheated, like mine did, then you're gonna to want to know exactly how to install the new one. Anyway, let's get straight down to it. I'm gonna at the start about this video being how to make your armor felony go faster. I mean, A-Main Hobbies have pushed this up to 85 miles an hour on 6S. You upgrade this to 8S, you are going to be going over 100 without any shadow of a doubt. And all being well, fingers crossed, I will try and prove that over the coming few days. My next biggest issue is tyres. If you've got any problem with the tyres, you cannot get hold of the rear ones for love nor money. In what now, four, five weeks? That horizon does need addressing ASAP because there's a lot of people very unhappy about the tyre situation. So you're doing really well on one front, but not so good on the tyres. All joking aside, while I've been a little bit critical of Horizon Hobby customer service in the past, the length of time it gets to get through to somebody at the minute is quite hard, to say the least, to get through to somebody on the phone. If you get through to them on the chat, the chat service is absolutely excellent, far faster than waiting around for a telephone call back from them or for somebody to pick up the phone on there. So we're going to replace that 150 amp ESC with this new 160 amp one. Well, while it's a fairly straightforward job, we've got two screws either side of the ESC to remove, four screws holding down the receiver box lid, because you're going to need to disconnect the ESC from the receiver and then fit the new one in. You, the one thing that differs from other previous armor installations is you've got the motor fan 
the motor fan comes back not to the receiver. It is powered off of the ESC. So you're going to need to disconnect this and next job, disconnect all the motor leads. Now we're in business. Six screws to undo, so it shouldn't be too hard. And obviously one screw I hadn't mentioned, which is the one for the on off switch on the top there. So let's get that one undone first of all. That's safety to the side. Four screws on the receiver cover. Now I have to imagine that receiver box is extremely watertight with all these screws on there. Although who's going to run their armour uh, felony in the rain is beyond me. Okay, well, while a power tool like this roto bit can be your best friend, it can also be your worst enemy. If one of the screws, the hex is beginning to go on there, you might want to use a manual one on there. My one tip would be to loosen each screw with a couple of turns of a normal conventional hex before using something like the roto bit. Now at this stage, the ESC is virtually ready to move. You'd be thinking, a lead's disconnected, Rich. No, you've still got to remove the lead going into the receiver. Hence the early removal of the receiver cover. Now of note, that was not something I had foreseen on there. I would leave the screw in that if you're doing this job so you know exactly where it's going back in. Now, we've got to do is very carefully find out which port the ESC is going into. Okay, now here's the new 160 amp ESC. Now get prepared for one of the biggest whoa moments Richie's ever had. Uh, continuous current 160 amps, peak current 1050 amps, sensorless, brushless motor, large scale surface, yeah, 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 uh, 3S to 6S LiPo, hang on, uh, I've got my reading glasses on, that, that says 8S LiPo, whoa, Richie moment, big time Richie moment, this thing takes 8S, you have to be kidding, because I know that motor will run for a short period of time on 8S, because I've seen him do it down at JJ Customs, 8S power in this. Absolutely outstanding from the outset. Richie's whoa moment of the week. Calm down, Rich, calm down. The Spectrum 160 amp ESC is 8S capable. You will see the similarities between that and the Dynamite Fuse one from Horizon on there. But the ESC in this hand is used to propelling a car weighing 33 pounds in weight. But this one is gonna be fitted to a car Weighed about 15 to 16 pounds in weight with the batteries in. And it's very clearly 8S capable. So my new armor felony is gonna be doing, it's like a maiden full on speed run with the speed gearing on there on success. And then I think Richie might have a couple of 4S packs to throw in there to see how it does on 8S. I'm thinking on 8S, this thing should be capable of over 100 miles an hour. The Armour 6S motors will run on 8S for like two, three runs before they get too warm. That was on the previous versions. This one's got the fan on board. So you can see why I'm getting quite excited about fitting this to this car. I think we might last longer than three minutes on the overheating thing around the yard. At least I hope so. Okay, look at the Spectrum Firma ESC fitted to the Armour in Armour Felony as standard. New additions to it compared to the outgoing ESC. We've got a cat pack fitted on there. That was not on the original ESC on there. Now we've got all the smart technology built in to the ESC on here. But like I say, this one has still got overheating issues. The one Horizon Hobby have sent out. This is very, very similar indeed to the unit fitted to my low seat DBXLE. 150 amp ESC. 160 amp, this is 8S capable versus 6S capable on here. I cannot help thinking Armour Horizon, why not make the stock car fitted with like a 200 amp ESC, albeit 6S rated, it would cut down on the warranty issues. It would pay for itself. This ESC ooh, needs to be pushed out to the side, boys and girls. Gonna require a little bit of work in terms of fitting because obviously this has just got two screws holding it down. This has got four screws at each end. Might be a little bit of a struggle to get it in, but looking at it, I think we're gonna be able to squeeze it in there. Now, I will say Spectrum appear to be up in the game on here. This looks very, very similar to the Dynamite Fuse ESC fitted to my 8S Low C DBX lead, which I showed you just a second ago. But we have also got an additional cap pack fitted on here. So once again, that is new. Okay, some people are probably gonna be quite annoyed about this and what they see. Major, major spoiler alert, okay? 
the 150 amp AC simply screws on with the two screws on there. Whoa! Richie, whoa moment! Because if anyone was paying attention, there are four screw holes in here which line up precisely with the 160 amp ESC, which means the thing can fit in there as absolutely stock, which begs the question, Jason Dearden, are you gonna release an ATES version of the felony or the infraction? Because the fact that the has got all the holes drilled out on there indicates we know what's coming next. Told you, this video's gonna be filled with whoa moments. All you're gonna need to get it to fit it's some ESC extension leads. I'll put a link to these below the video. And so with the simple set of ESC extension leads running the 160 amp ESC, it's literally going to drop straight in there. All I would say with the fan wire is make sure you put it over the top of the red brace in order to ensure it doesn't get wrapped around the drive shaft. Now all we've got to do is wire the ESC back into the receiver, fit our four new screws on there and we're back in business. And when I say we're back in business, that's potentially with the up to 8S running through this car. JJ Customs are proven time and again, these Armour Success Motors will take 8S. They do get warm. JJ's ran them without any fans. Now Armour have fit a fan on there. I'm very tempted to try this on 8S. I'm thinking on 8S, this thing is probably going to be capable of going over 100. For a simple ESC upgrade with no other changes to the car other than fitting the optional pinion gearing, this thing breaks 100. That is going to be absolutely outstanding work, armor, and more to the point, horizon hobby. You might have upgraded this ESC above the, one, the 150 amp one you were going to send out, but if this thing works, this is over 100 miles an hour, you're probably going to sell out of these fairly fast. Okay, it's come out together fairly fast. Got the ESC word back into receiver, all four screws back on receiver cover, power switch back on. I have not fed this central cable back under that little clamp as there really didn't seem a lot of point in the wire was maybe a little bit too short anyway on there. But overall, looking pretty good. Now I've just got to find four screws to screw the ESC down, calibrate it, and we're back in business. Okay, got my four screws to mount the new 160 amp ESC in there. That thing is now absolutely rock solid. Leads in place, just taking care to keep this uh, fan wire well out the way of the central drive shaft. So I'm throwing it above the current wires on there. This thing looks absolutely set to rock and roll. I cannot help but think somebody from Armour has potentially got an 8S infraction. 8S felony on the cards in the coming few months and weeks. The fact this ESC has already got all the holes pre-drilled out to fit this in here to convert the car from 6S to 8S speaks absolutely volumes on there. This thing's quite quick on 6S. How fast is it gonna be on 8S? Well, later on this week, I am to prove that. Well, time for and one other thing I would say above the noise people to anybody attempting this conversion. Ditch the stock armor fan. This is adequate at best on there fit something like one of these power hobby turbo fans the difference is night versus day in terms of the cooling anyway hey as batteries on board get outside for those tires Rich. first run i would say on 6s but it's not i've gone the full beans we've got 8s in here i had a lot of problems programming the esc it just did not seem to want to play ball i know how to program these escs off by heart just nothing i was doing and the brakes were non-existent the car was just literally carrying on rolling forwards like that into a wall there was, there was no braking whatsoever even despite adjusting it on the esc and then i discovered that one of the six cells uh, was down to virtually zero voltage so i think that pack has uh, completely had it so i had no choice but to uh Put the full 8S in there. Seems to make sense to my mind. Oh man. Oh. Okay. Well, I can officially say this car is quite a handful on 8S in my driveway. Gonna have to be very quick to catch that. I'll turn the ABC on, would help a little bit anyway. Man, got so much power. But the brakes now actually stop whereas it did before literally when i first ran it i was braking and yeah full brakes full brakes like and it was literally like going off the edge of the garden like that acceleration on it now full acceleration oh see what i mean about the brakes even then mind you this is with our 8s on there don't want to smoke those tires too badly because 
They're the only set I've got at a minute. And nobody seems to have them for sale. I've got several pairs on order. But uh, suffice to say, I think, Rich, you may have created another Frankenstein machine. Oh man, this thing is going to be like, it's like the ultimate hooligan's dream. Super cheap, super fast upgrade. I can well see this thing, it, it definitely don't got enough power there for over the 100 with this thing. If it does 85 on 6S, on this, on 8S, definitely going to go over the 100 on there. Now on the interest purely of saving the tyres, I am going to call it a day at that. Let's just feel how warm everything is. Doesn't smell hot. Yeah, see, not bad. Now I would point out the motor is a little bit warm, but uh, that motor is only a 6S one, and I have a feeling I should put the Power Hobby turbo fan on that to keep it cool if I'm going to try it on 8S. I have got a couple of 3S packs in there, so we will first of all try it out on speedrun on 6S and then give it the full beans on 8S. But certainly on 8S, absolute handful, but I do want to preserve these tyres for the speedrun because nowhere is selling the tyres at the minute for the armour felony. But anyway, if you like what you've seen today, because it's definitely the way to make your armor felony go much faster, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Well, thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video, and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell.